Welcome back. I'm Josh. Got my cameraman Braden with me, and today we're going to talk about home kit automations. The basics, the easy stuff. You have a sensor, we have one on this camera, and we have a light. Let's make them work together. Let's do it. All right, so in a previous video, we had set up the Eufy cam that's back there. It's got a motion sensor on it. And then we have this light out here. We set this thing up. You guys remember that from the Wemo. We'll put the link up there. Uh, and then we've got a Eufy cam over there that also has a sensor. So I just want to like tie all those together. So we're going to do an easy time of day automation. And then we're going to do uh, motion sensor automation for the one Eufy cam, then for the other Eufy cam. So uh, let's, let's go downstairs. We'll hop on the iPad and I'll show you what that looks like. We just go into the home app you can uh let's see uh go to rooms so let's garage we want front yard you can see we've got the camera and we have the front yard light uh but what you don't see here is the sensors that are attached to the camera so someone did ask me a question like hey can i do stuff with the eufy cam uh, and yes, you can. So you just go in here. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, actually, before we get into the UV cam stuff, is just we'll make a quick uh, automation. A time of day occurs. We'll say sunset all days. Doesn't matter if anyone's home. We will go in and find the front yard light, and we will turn that on. And we'll set that to turn off after two hours. All right. So that's easy. That's a quick one, right? Like, you don't even need any sensors. You can just do time of day. So I've got this set for certain lights that I know we're always going to turn on at night in common areas. Like, uh, 30 minutes before sunset, they kick on. Uh, I think it's creep people out <laughs> before because they're sitting there watching TV or something. And they're like, why did the lights just change? Because they'll be on brighter and then they go dimmer. Mm -hmm. um, so there is that. And then what we'll go ahead and do is a sensor detects something. So you can see we've got all these different sensors. This front yard motion sensor is actually attached to the Eufy cam. So by installing the Eufy cam, we get the video but we also get the sensor and sometimes you only see these things if you actually like go into this sensor automation screen so we can say um hey we want this to trigger uh whenever it detects motion uh doesn't matter whether people are home or not uh and we'll just say at night right so we only we don't want the light to come on during the day because it's it's not that bright so, um, and it doesn't really serve any purpose. So we'll just say at night and we will go in here and we'll say front yard, turn on. And then we'll go ahead and say, turn off, I don't know, 10 minutes after. So it'll stay on for a while. Um, but we wanna go ahead and turn that off. Uh, and then what we can do is we can also control, we have a motion sensor from the Eufy cam over the garage. Uh, again, we'll do only at night. Next. Front yard, next. Turn it on. Turn it off 10 minutes after. And so now we have this uh, motion detected in front yard, motion detected in garage. It's going to turn the light on for us. Uh, so we've done other automations uh, like next week. We'll probably have that Sylvania smart ball video up and we have one that works off the door sensor. Um, when the door opens or when the garage door opens, uh, it turns on those light bulbs in the uh, garage that we have set up. Uh, and then you can even do crazy things like, let's see if I pull this one up. Garage light bulb two turns off. Some of this is messed up. I gotta fix it. So we can see here, like when 
garage light bulb two turns off, we turn off garage light bulb. So there's like two in there. Uh, and we had to do this because of Bluetooth. But um, anyway, we'll talk about that in the next video. So this is just HomeKit 101, right? Like easy automations, get a few sensors, get a few light switches, you can make all this stuff work. Uh, highly recommend getting some motion sensors inside the house. Uh, that powers a lot of our inside uh, kind of automations. And uh, maybe not the very next video, but the video after that, we'll be talking about setting up a more advanced automation uh, with shortcuts. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this week. Uh, I know this one was quick and short, but I just really wanted to show you guys what could be done uh, since someone had asked in the comments on the UVCam video. Uh, so, you know, pay attention to this stuff and, and poke around and see what you can find. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If, uh, you want to get more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And then, uh, if you want to be notified when it comes out, hit the bell. We really appreciate it. And, uh, stay tuned for our next video.